click the bell icon to get latest videos from ikeda hello friends in this video we are going to see the first application of derivative that is the geometric meaning of derivative which we also say as slope or gradient of the tangent so let us start now to analyze this we are going to consider a function say y is equal to f of x and its domain will be from a to a plus h that is the value of x will be a to a plus h now let us consider two points on this curve that is point p and point q if you see the coordinates of point p will be value of x will be a and value of y will be f of a similarly for point q the value of x will be a plus h and the value of y will be f of a plus h so we have considered two points p and q whose coordinates are a comma f of a and a plus h comma f of a plus h next thing that we are going to do is draw a secant now what is a secant a secant is a line which intersects the curve in two different points so if i try to join pq i will get a line and let us find the slope of the line we know that m is given as y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 or you can say difference of y coordinates divided by difference of x coordinates so if i say difference of y coordinates that is y2 minus y1 we have f of a plus h minus a as you can see in the denominator plus a and minus a will be cancelled and h will be left in the denominator so the formula of slope will be f of a plus h minus f of a divided by h now just imagine I am trying to take Q near P and that distance will be so small that the value of H that is the difference between X and the next coordinate that is A plus H that difference H is tending to zero. It means point P and Q are appearing very closer. So in that case H will be tending to zero. So if you imagine that line will become a tangent. So for the formula of slope, if I say limit where h is tending to 0 for f of a plus h minus f of a divided by h, that is nothing but slope of a tangent. Specifically, it become a slope of tangent. And in the earlier videos of derivatives also, we have seen according to Leibniz, limit x tending to 0, f of a plus h minus f of a divided by h was nothing but dy by dx. So whenever we find dy by dx, that will be the slope of tangent for that curve. Thus, geometric meaning of the slope of tangent is nothing but dy by dx or you can say f dash x. Now let us see few important points that are related to slope of tangent. So if I say the value of dy by dx at a particular point x is equal to a will give you f dash a and that will represent gradient and that will represent gradient of the curve at x is equal to a and that will represent gradient of the function at the point a. The slope of a tangent at any point say x1 y1 that is dy by dx at x1 y1 will give you f of x1 y1. So this will also represent the slope of tangent at a particular point x1 y1 on that curve. Now in the earlier chapter we have seen parametric functions. So we need to find first dx by dt and dy by dt. But in that case also you need to find dy by dx and after that only you can find slope of tangent. Now suppose if the inclination of line with respect to positive x axis it is given say it is theta. So you can directly write dy by dx will be equal to tan theta as the second formula for slope of the line is nothing but tan theta. So dy by dx will be equal to tan theta. Now the fifth point that we are going to see is that in certain cases you might find that the first derivative that is dy by dx its value is equal to zero. We know that slope is equal to zero only when the line is x-axis or it is parallel to x-axis. So if we have first derivative as zero, it means that tangent will be either x-axis or parallel to x-axis. Now the last point that is point number six that we need to understand is that if two lines are perpendicular to each other, the product of their slope will be equal to minus one. So in the further problems, you will see that we need to find the equation of tangents and normal. So normal is basically a line which is perpendicular to tangent. And if you find the slope of tangent, just take its negative reciprocal. Now what is negative reciprocal? If I say the slope of tangent is 2, therefore the slope of normal will be reciprocal of 2 will be 1 upon 2 and its negative sign will give you minus 1 upon 2. So if you find the slope of tangent, its negative reciprocal will be the slope of normal. I hope friends you have understood this video. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikeda and subscribe to Ikeda.